year-round living can't get any better than the Lake of the Woods here in Bremen, Indiana. And Mark Linton is here with us to talk about this beautiful landscape that really is year-round gorgeous, beautiful. <laughs> and you've done a wonderful job here, Mark. The homeowners, we're going to talk to them in a little bit. They're excited about what you've done, but it wasn't an overnight process, was it? Actually, this has been going on for quite a few years uh, here. Uh, Keith contacted me about five, six years ago, and um, it's been a really fun uh, relationship. Uh, he likes nice uh, things, but he's pretty much put his trust into us and uh, uh, to accomplish uh, the, the goal that you see here. And when we started, it was a pretty much a blank slate. We had absolutely nothing here. And uh, so everything that you see is what we've created for them. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Living fences around this beautiful deck. Why don't we just start right here, talk a little bit about what you did here and the way it flows right <laughs> down to where we're eventually going to end up, and that's over at the fire pit. Well, this is a large uh, lot here on uh, the lake, uh, but uh, as uh, most uh, lakefront properties are, you know, they do kind of pack the homes in there. Yeah. And um, it was important to have uh, kind of a nice private outdoor living area. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, Craig, what we did was uh, create uh, these uh, living fences. Uh, we've got one on each side, and that way the family can be out here along with uh, friends and not feel like they have to be on all the time. And, uh, you know, can, you can be relaxed in your own uh, backyard. So at Linton's, you can get a living fence <laughs> that's nearly that size from the get-go? <laughs> oh, good question. Uh, you know, uh, because we grow all the plants ourselves, we've got little one gallon uh, all the way up to six, seven footers. Is that right? And uh, so if you're wanting something pretty instant, uh, as long as six, seven feet uh, can do it, uh, we can pull that off. There you so. go. I like the way this all flows and comes together for you down here, Mark. Well, thank you. And uh, what we wanted to do was to tie uh, this outdoor living area, the deck here, uh, into uh, an mm -hmm. outdoor patio. Yeah. We are using um, flagstone here, along with a combination of uh, brick and uh, put a lot of uh, um, thought and effort into uh, the material selection. If you look on uh, the house, uh, we've got a repeat of uh, the stone and the brick uh, that's on the exterior of the house. We've used uh, that uh, same look and feel with the hardscapes uh, here. Now, Keith says that the fire pit really has year-round use, and you wouldn't <laughs> normally think of celebrating Christmas out here, but I think you did. Uh, Christmas and Easter, <laughs> yeah. yes. Um, you know, it is a gas uh, fire pit, which makes it incredibly uh, low maintenance. It's just like a gas fireplace uh, in uh, your home. Uh, just uh, and You can adjust uh, the flame. If you want flames shooting up uh, four feet, uh, you could do that. Mm. Does, does he have it that high at times, do you think? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe if it was cooler, of course, he would want that. Uh -huh. So we've got a nice uh, place here to gather around the fire pit, and then a uh, sidewalk uh, leads out uh, to uh, the pier, and then we just added uh, the flagpole and uh, the raised planter. Keith's wife's done an amazing job uh, with uh, the addition of all the annual flowers. And the lighting that touches everything off. Yes. Beautiful. Uh, so we've got a combination of uh, path lights, and you see them along yep. uh, the walkways uh, here. And then also, if you look at the base of our ornamental trees, we've got some uh, spotlights, which we call up lights, highlighting those. And this takes on a really neat effect uh, in uh, the evening after sunset. Mm -hmm. A lot of viewers at home, Mark, are probably wondering, you know, is it important for the value of your home to have year-round beauty? And I guess we've already answered that question, <laughs> haven't we? It, of course it is yeah. Im important. Uh, you know, here in uh, Michigan, with the change of uh, the seasons and that, and especially if you're living here during the wintertime, you tend to appreciate uh, evergreens mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. You know, on a practical side too, and we were talking to Keith, the homeowner, he was saying that when they first moved in, what, about six years ago, something like that? Absolutely. Uh, very little landscaping, in fact. Um, Nothing. <laughs> and this was kind of a mud bowl out here, and when it got really dry, uh, go-karts would run back here and, and cause a problem, not only for the immediate family breathing that in, but the neighbors too <laughs> were kind of complaining a little, weren't they? You look at uh, the lush uh, lawn here, which we sodded uh, this, it's hard to believe that that ever was uh, the situation here. Yes. 
Well, we've talked a little bit about Keith. Uh, just a word about Keith's wife, would you please? I know you had some um, some detailed moments with her, didn't you? Oh, you know what? Uh, she's a blast uh, to work with and has a lot, a lot of energy. And actually, it was her vision uh, here with the sidewalk and uh, patio as well as uh, fire pit um, that uh, we created this uh, especially for her. Now, how much give and take between Keith and, and his wife? Did he just allow her to do anything at all that she wanted, or was there some limit there? I think uh, he follows the same rule that I do, <laughs> yes. happy wife, happy life. There you and go. It doesn't get any better than that. That is very true. Well, <laughs> Keith is the homeowner, and uh, we were able to catch up with him. I know he's really busy. He's very involved in getting this home in tip-top shape, but he's done a great job. And, Mark, I know you really appreciated uh, getting to know him some six years ago. and. Uh, well, we're going to catch up with Keith right now and um, get his take on what's happened out here. Keith Mentz joins us now. Keith, the homeowner, a year-round lakefront home. Keith, you've got a beautiful place here. Congratulations. Well, thank you. You've done a lot of work inside and out. Talk a little bit about what Mark has done through Linton's Landscaping here at your home. It's been kind of a progress of over the last year or so, hasn't it? Oh, yeah. I mean, I actually, it started six years ago. There was absolutely no landscaping here, so call made to Linton's. Mark came in and drew up some plans, and all the all the landscaping here is from Linton's. And uh, uh, you know, it's, we just put the fire pin and the walkway down to the pier in last uh, actually last winter. I believe it was probably their last project in December. And uh, so Linton's has been very involved in the in the house here, at Lake of the Woods. Well, uh, you know, one story that uh, Keith actually shared with us before going on was the fact that, uh, you know, you live here year-round and you enjoy Christmas here and Easter and some of the other holidays, of course. But you you had Christmas around the fire pit this past year, right? Yeah, this this year was kind of special. Of course, it was 60 degrees, which is unusual here in Bremen, Indiana. But, uh, you know, the fire pit, it just, I, in fact, I don't even know if the top blocks were put on yet. But, uh, you know, it was hooked up and uh, we had a bunch of people at the house. We did our white elephant gift exchange out around the fire pit and then in uh, Easter once again I think it was 70 degrees and beautiful and a bunch of people here and sitting around with the fire pit going so yeah, it was really good. Awesome Keith well I'm gonna bring Mark on here and I know he has taken a, a vested interest in your property here uh, has done a wonderful job and always fun to work with clients <laughs> like Keith I bet. Huh? Oh most definitely and uh, just wanted to thank you and your wife for the opportunity allowing us uh, to be associated with this beautiful home and also for allowing us to share the landscape and uh, the new fire pit and patio with all the viewers out there appreciate uh, your business. No problem. <laughs> Very good. No problem. Well, I do have to say that, 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 you know, that was my wife's idea. <laughs> Your wife probably had a few ideas here, didn't she? That she you... still does. Still does. <laughs> well, that's, still does. that's sometimes how it works out. Keith, yep. good meeting you. Nice meeting you. Best to Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. We've got a whole lot more coming up on the show. Don't go away. We'll be right back.